Hey guys, how are we doing today? Hope you're all doing okay. So, this is going to be the third video in this mini series that I'm doing about getting outfits from supermarkets uh, to try their brand, to see what they're like, if, what the costs are like. Um, this one is at Tesco's for their clothes range FNF. Uh, exactly the same situation, I've picked one outfit that I would choose myself and another outfit that I wouldn't necessarily buy. Um, I think this is going to be the last one because I don't think there's actually any other supermarkets that have a clothes range. Uh, I mean, there's Morrison's, but they only do kid like baby clothes, I think, and maybe kids. I don't think they actually do adults. Uh, if I'm mistaken, comment below, and there may be part four. And if there is another supermarket that I have actually forgot, again, comment down below, let me know. Uh, and any other ideas that I could do for clothes range, not just clothes, basically, anything you, you want to see, comment below, comment on any of my videos, and I will try to make it happen. Uh, my eyes are a bit squinted today because I am very tired. I had a late night and an early morning, and this is the result. <laughs> so, uh, Tesco's, F and F. I was disappointed. I... You know what, this has got to be the hardest one that I've actually done because nothing really had a good vibe, especially in the menswear. The ladies was good vibes, the men's was just basic. I was very disappointed, uh, but I did manage to scrape together two outfits. So, uh, first I went for, this is going to be the outfit that I would choose. Now... There is a t-shirt that I wouldn't necessarily choose, but it's the only one there that I like the most. Let's just put it at that. So, first of all, before turning it round to show you the front, I like the colour of it. It is like a patchy grey. and No, actually, it is grey. Uh, but the front of it is a NASA t-shirt of a rocket going up. I don't know. Uh, kind of not my vibe but as i say i struggled to find t-shirts i mean like i didn't even have any plain t-shirts i could find uh so i picked up this nasa t-shirt uh gray like i said the picture is in black and white and this is 10 pound so yeah i feel like it's an okay price 10 pounds as i say i'll show you all uh, the outfit's on, but that is the t-shirt. Then, shock horror, can you believe that I picked up a checked shirt? Oh my god, I picked up a checked shirt, what is wrong with me? Uh, but yes, it is another checked shirt. But I do like this one actually, it is a lovely colour, I am digging this vibe. The, it's like a bay, um, burgundy navy colour, which I am loving. Uh, this is £15, so an average price that I'd pay for a uh, check shirt. This is 100% cotton, and again, F&F. &F. All of this is F&F, because it's from Tesco's Horn. So, check shirt, buttons down the front, pocket on the, top, on the chest. So yeah, chest pocket. Uh, could not find any jeans that I'd like in the men's, so I looked in the women's, and there's nothing special about these, they're just straight leg all the way down, they're like a rinse wash, it's got a belt with it, personally I would change the belt, I don't like this belt, it is not a piece of me, um, and these was in the sale at £15, reduced from £22, oh they're mum jeans, sorry. So, boxy leg all the way down. I do like the fit of them actually. Well, I, I do like the look of the fit. Uh, I do like a mum jean. So, yeah, uh, I'll see what they look on. So, shall we get into it? See what I think. So, this is the first outfit. Uh, I do like the t shirt. They didn't have a huge range, so I didn't have that much to choose from. So, out of all the ones, this is my favourite that they had. Uh, I like the colour. Uh, it's NASA. 
we all like space and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I do. Um, yeah, it's playing on the back. And yeah, I do like the fit of it. The length is okay. The sleeves are okay. Uh, nothing to really bomb about this t-shirt, really. Uh, it's okay, and I'll show you the jeans now. So the jeans, they are like a light blue. They are a stretchy material, so I've got to love it there. The size fits me okay. Uh, would have to wear about, which I do wear about with all my jeans anyway. The pockets are small, but they are ladies, so ladies do tend to have smaller pockets. Uh, and they have got a couple of pockets on the back. So, uh, not much detail into them. Sits okay on the ankles. Uh, I've got nothing to complain about with these jeans, apart from the pockets. But that is standard when it comes to ladies' jeans. So this is it with the shirt on. The shirt is a bit small, so the sh sizes of their sh shirts are different than uh, previous supermarkets because I've been buying the same sizes. But yes, uh, the shirt does not fit. Uh, but it's a nice feel. Um, it's just a shame about the sizing. That's the back. Lovely colour as well. Goes nice with the outfit. The colours all match, so yeah, uh, it would have been nice if the shirt fitted, I probably would have kept the shirt, but as you can see, I either need to send the shirt back or lose as much weight as I can in by the time I wear this, which to be honest I am in the, the, pro the process of losing weight, so I don't know, <laughs> but currently it just does not fit. So what did we think of that? Did you like that vibe? Uh, the shirt I definitely like. The colours are great, but the sizing is a bit squiffy. Um, not hundred percent sure on the jeans. Um, they're okay, but I don't know. So the breakdown of the cost for those: the t-shirt was ten pounds, like I said. Uh, the shirt was fifteen pound, and the then the jeans was also £15, so that takes it to £40, so mm, slightly higher than the others. Shockingly, Sainsbury's is still coming out uh, quite cheap with their, is it two? Yeah, two clothes range, so that is shocking me. So, um, yes, thoughts on outfit one. And now let's get jumping in to outfit number two. So, started off with the bottoms. These, again, was in the sale. They are £12 reduced from £20. Uh, I can't remember if I got these from the men's or the women's, but I think that was men's. They are kind of like a really thick uh, linen material. I mean, like, I know linen can quite be, like, be quite thin, but this looks like linen, but it's quite thick. It's got a good density to it, and it's stretchy, so I love these. Uh, they've got a drawstring to them. I like. Um, it's like a deep navy colour. Straight leg all the way down. Actually, it's a slim leg. Slim leg all the way down. Uh, yeah, nothing too detailed about those. We'll see what they look like. The t-shirt, the t-shirts did, did be dirty. Um, again, I only picked up this because I ain't got. Look, you know what? I do. Before I turn it around again, it's like a patchy grey. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what the uh, term is for that. Which that's what got my attention. <laughs> I got it from the sale at seven pounds. Oh, you're in for a treat. You know what? You're not really in for a treat because, like, I don't know. It is questionable. I wouldn't pick up this type of top because, like, it's a James Bond top. Uh, no time to die. Yeah, I picked up a James Bond top. I'm not really a big fan of James Bond, but I struggled so much with an outfit from, te like, Tesco. It's a James Bond top. <laughs> I mean, like, 
The last James Bond movie I watched was... Was it Casino Royale? I'm pretty sure it was Casino Royale. And that's only because... Da the, is it David Craig? Daniel Craig? Craig Daniel? Daniel Craig. Is that his name? Daniel Craig. Yeah, Daniel Craig was in it. Simples. But yeah, um, it's an okay t-shirt if, you like, if you're a huge fan of James Bond 007. But yeah, that's the t-shirt I picked up. And gotta say, I do like the shirt. It's not a check shirt. Calm yourself down. It is not a check shirt. But it is a well, is it a shirt? It's like a fleece jacket. I know like this jacket word is coming to fashion. So it's kind of like a jacket. It's like a thick fleece shirt slash jacket. Lovely colour. So soft. I mean like hello blanket. This would keep you warm. So this is coming at £20. So yeah. I wouldn't know. I, I haven't got anything like this. I don't know if I would normally pick up something like this, but I thought, you know what? It's different. Let's give it a go. So let's give it a try on and see what it looks like whatever. So outfit two. This is the t-shirt. I'll show you the trousers in detail in a sec. But yeah, the t-shirt's okay. Don't get me wrong. It is an okay t-shirt. But I just wish I was a fan of like a, like a bigger fan of James Bond than I actually am. Uh, but as I mentioned before, Tesco just had a rubbish range of F and F clothing in. I just didn't think much of their range at all. There's nothing on the back. Uh, the length of it is good. I do like the length. The sleeves are okay, but yeah. So if you are a James Bond fan, then this is a perfect t-shirt for you, but I think this is going to go back. Uh, it's just not a piece of me. And I'll show you the jeans. Well, trousers. So, the trousers, not that you can see much, but I oh, do like these. Uh, they're a bit big, but I can just tighten up the uh, drawstring. They sit perfectly on the ankle, which I like. The pockets are big, which, if you know me, you know I love a good pocket. Uh, there's a couple of pockets on the back, nice stretchy material, uh, it's not going to be restricting, but yeah, this is a good pair of uh, trousers for me to wear to work, so I am a huge fan of these ones, so thumbs up to the trousers. So this is it with the jacket shirt, jacket type on, I am actually liking it, I'm liking this a lot better than I expected, uh, it's nice and comfy, it's not too itchy on the arms. Good for it to be fleece. I expect it to be itchy on the arms, but it's a quite nice feel. So, um, yeah, it fits me perfectly. I really like it. I might actually keep this. Yeah, I think I've got a newfound fan here. I am loving that. And, like, the rest of the outfit's okay. Well, if you say so, but, yeah. That was outfit two. So... What are your thoughts? The t-shirt, we all know my thoughts on the t-shirt. The shacket shirt thing, I am a huge fan of. It, it was very warm the moment I put it on. I felt warm, not too, not hot. I didn't feel like I was going to be too hot in it. It felt comfortable. I liked the shirt. And the trousers, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just box standard. So the breakdown of those was the seven, the t-shirt was seven pounds, the trousers was twelve pounds, and the jacket shirt thing was twenty pounds, coming in at twenty thirty two thirty nine pounds. So one pound cheaper than outfit one, but I do like that jacket shirt jacket whatever you call it. Um, I think I might actually keep that jacket. Uh, yeah, he well, was got more perks, which uh, outfit one or outfit two. You know what? I think I'd have to actually pick outfit two for my favorite of the, those two. I that green shirt, I loved it. So, thoughts, what are your thoughts? Um, yes, Sainsbury's was cheaper. Oh, out of the three, Sainsbury's was cheaper. 
before I started these videos, I thought Sainsbury's was going to be at the bottom for being the most expensive. But in reality, it was. But I got most of the stuff on sale. Um, but I still paid cheaper. It was the cheapest outfits. You got some good. I oh, got some good finds out of Sainsbury's. I am very impressed with Sainsbury's. So that's going to be a winner for me. Coming in at second was as Asda, and third. No, was Asda? No, Tesco. Wait. Whoa, was Asda the most expensive? No, I think there was one outfit that was fifty pounds, fifty some. Was it? I can't remember. It's been it's been like at least a day since I filmed that video. <laughs> I've slept since. Um, yes, but I am shocked that Sainsbury's won. Uh, got some good quality clothes out of it. Uh, low price. Yeah, as that. No, Sainsbury's thumbs up. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. Sound off. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave loads of thoughts down below of future videos that you want to do, want me to do. And I shall see you all in my next video. So it's goodbye from me, Matt. Goodbye from Rainbow Soul. And stay sassy.